A proposed NASA mission to orbit three moons of Jupiter would pioneer a powerful new capability for exploring space. After unfolding an array of heat-shedding radiator panels while in Earth orbit, the spacecraft would also deploy thruster assemblies and other equipment. A new era of space mobility powered for the first time by a nuclear fission reactor would begin when the ion propulsion engines start up and push the spacecraft toward Jupiter. The spacecraft, called Jupiter Icy Moons Orbiter, would use the same engines to slow itself into orbit around Jupiter. Later, it would orbit Jupiter's moon Callisto, while cameras and other instruments examine that world in detail. After several months at Callisto, the spacecraft would start up its thrusters again and move on to Ganymede, another of the three Jupiter moons likely to hide vast oceans under their icy surface layers. The orbiter would use the same instruments again. Infrared mapping gives clues about surface composition. Then onward to Europa, the highest priority destination because its ocean may be closest to the surface. While some instruments examine that surface, high-power ice-penetrating radar would gauge the thickness of the top ice layer and sense the deep ocean underneath a possible habitat for life. A mission to explore under the ice of Europa would be the ultimate robotic challenge. During the landing, the team in mission control would pretty much be along for the ride. Europa is so far away that even at the speed of light, it would take more than an hour for the command just to reach the vehicle. It's really on its own. It has to be smart enough to avoid terrain hazards and to find a good landing site on the ice. Now we have to get through the ice. You need a melt probe. It's basically a nuclear heated torpedo. The ice could be anywhere from three to 16 miles deep. Week after week, the melt probe will sink of its own weight through the ancient ice. Until finally, now, what are you going to do when you reach the surface of that ocean? You need an AUV, an autonomous underwater vehicle. It needs to be one smart puppy, able to navigate and make decisions on its own in an alien ocean. Europa has internal heat. It may well have hydrothermal venting. If it does, and if the chemistry is right, it will have an enormous impact on humanity if we find life in an ocean on another world. 